Now presenting My Childhood. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay from True Gaming here bringing you another teardown slash how-to video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly take apart, clean, and maintain your Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, and Game Boy Advance games. Now, all you'll need for this is isopropyl alcohol. Right here, I believe I have a 91%. It's a little bit of a higher grade. This one's mainly used for first aid antiseptics. However, it works. You'll need some um, Q-tips or some uh, cotton swabs, whatever you'd like to call them, to uh, properly clean off the cases. And this is just my little uh, alcohol holding container. Now, uh, what, you also, uh, what else you'll need is a 3.8 millimeter drill bit and a tri-wing screwdriver. Now the drill bit and the uh, tri-wing screwdriver aren't exactly available at a lot of hardware stores. So what I found is uh, if you go on Amazon, eBay, wherever you like to go, they should sell these. I got this one on Amazon and same with this. This actually came with a five pack because the tri-wing screwdrivers are used for uh, quite a number of Nintendo products. Now, so all you really have to do to, uh, let's start with the Game Boy game here. This is Bonk's Revenge for the uh, Game Boy. As you see, I've already gone ahead. You use the 3.8 millimeter bit to uh, unscrew the back, and then you should just be able to lift, uh, sorry, not lift, you go to the front of this, up by where the Nintendo Game Boy symbol is, press forward to slide it out, and, this one's a little sticky, you should just be able to lift it right off. There you go. Okay. In doing this, you then expose the motherboard. This is the uh, entirety of the cartridge. You can't really see too well, but it is a little... Uh, corroded and dirty and stuff like that, especially on the uh, gold clip here. Now, in order to take care of this, you are going to then take your uh, cotton swab right here, dip it into the uh, rubbing alcohol solution, and gently apply it on the uh, gold strip here on both sides. Th this is these are the connecting points, so this is mostly what the game is read as. So you're just going to do a couple of that, and if you can already see there, it is quite dirty, so... Alright, once you have applied the uh, rubbing alcohol, you then want to take and dip in the other side, as well as clean off the case a little bit. Now, with the lighting here, unfortunately you can't see a whole lot, however, you will soon see just the uh, amount of dirt and grime and built up stuff that is all over this uh, console here, especially on the inside where it gets extra dusty. Now you can't see very well, but that is pretty dirty compared to what it was. Now for a more in-depth cleaning experience, normally I would take a microfiber cloth uh, as well as dipping it into uh, warm water and soap to clean off the uh, plastic cases. Careful not to get anything on the uh, sticker here. And then I would gently apply it and rub a lot of the uh, gunk off. However, for just for the, just for the uh, video's purpose, I just want to show you how to take apart and clean the motherboard part in case you have a cartridge that does not like to read or does not work or anything like that. Alright, so you just want to do the exact same as before. Clip it in, push it back up, then reapply the bolt. Alright, now for the second one we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories here. This was one of my favorite handheld games as a kid. Uh, the exact same process actually as the Game Boy game. Uh, unscrew, the, or unscrew the bolt in the back, pop open from the front down, pop it open, and then lift it up. And then you have the motherboard exposed. Now the Game Boy Color is different as it has a larger motherboard that covers the entirety of the case along with this internal battery here. These are infamous for uh, dying, <laughs> so you may see a lot of replacements online, uh, especially for the Pokemon games. You could be playing the uh, Pokemon game, then you save, and the next time you jump back on, it's not there. All right, so for this, you just want to, um, this, you don't have to lift up or anything, you just have to turn around, and it should fall right out carefully and easily. Now the exact same thing as this, grab your uh, fresh Q-tip here, dip it in some rubbing alcohol, and apply to the connecting points, the gold strip here. Both sides. Now if you ever have a cartridge that does not like to work, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't load up or it freezes, sometimes these could get short-circuited. Now there isn't an example here, but if you see some white, milky substance around here, uh, apply some rubbing alcohol to the Q-tip and go over that and try to get out rid as much as possible. I had Final Fantasy Legends 3 for the Game Boy and the exact same thing happened. I took it apart, 
went ahead and got rid of a lot of the uh, milky substance and it started working again, thankfully. So, okay. uh, same thing for that. Clean the motherboard, uh, place back inside, put everything back together. There we go, and you're good to go. And the last thing we have here is the uh, Game Boy Advance game. Now this isn't as similar as the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. The back, right in this slot right here, has the tri-wing screwdriver. We take apart the screw, and then this is where it gets very similar again. Pop on the front, lift up, and here you have the motherboard. It is a lot smaller, but can hold. it has an internal battery, and it can hold a lot more storage compared to the other two with the, tech, the rising technology in those years. Q-tip. Apply alcohol and apply to connecting points. Now this one is a lot dirtier, um, as you may be able to see there. This one's a lot dirtier just on the uh, front portion, so we're going to give this one a generous cleaning, just to be sure. Now the reason you use isopropyl alcohol is that rubbing alcohol is safe on electronics in moderation because of the fact that it evaporates very quickly. So okay, we'll just finish applying that. Right, so you want to uh, put back inside of the cartridge here, pop the front back on, and you're good to go. Alright, so you can see that is all you'll need for this video. Um, I like to tend to do these to most of, that game, most of these games. In the very beginning you saw me with a whole bag of video games that I found in my parents' basement actually when I was helping them clean out. They were stuffed in their drawer, one of my old dresser drawers and I remembered, hey, those are mine. So I figured I'd bring them home, clean them up. And I'll show you some examples. Some of them really, really needed it as well. This Mega Man uh, label right here for Battle Network 4, Red Sun, kind of peeling off. We could be able to somehow salvage that. Um, example of cleaning. Here we go. This is Final Fantasy, Le the, sorry, the Final Fantasy Legend. It's the first in a series of three or four, I believe. Uh, is really gross and sticky and still has the um, local games dealership sticker on it. So I figured I'd collect all of these and bring them back and so hopefully I can salvage them, you know, make them all nice and pretty again. Alright, well this has been another uh, Teardown How-To video by True Gaming J. Glad you all can make it today and I'll see you in the next video.